Hello students, today we are going to discuss class 9 science chapter 2 is matter around us pure second part. In the first part I had explained you about the matter classifications and after that I had explained you about the pure substances, mixture and the types of mixture homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. In the homogeneous I had given you the example of true solution and after that in the heterogeneous I had given you the example of collagen solution and suspension. Today we are going to discuss about what is true solution, what is collagen solution, what is suspension, what is Tyndall effect, what is dilute solution, concentrated solution, saturated solution, unsaturated solution, solubility and the concentration of solution. First of all you should understand what is homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture means a mixture which has a uniform ratio of solute and solvent. What is solute and what is solvent? The less amount of substance present in a solution is called solute and the more amount of substance present in a solution is called solvent. So the solute and solvent which are in, which are in the uniform ratios, uniform conditions means as for example if I want to prepare a sugar solution I must know what should be the amount of sugar and what should be the amount of water. If both the amount are in the uniform then definitely it will be a homogeneous mixture. If it is not in the uniform then it will be a heterogeneous mixture. So let's start the example of homogeneous mixture or true solution. True solution is a homogeneous mixture. The particles are very small. It is less than 1 nanometer. 1 nanometer means 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Means it is 1 upon 1 9 zeros that are 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Means you have to divide 1 meter into 100 crore. 100 crore parts so that will be 1 nanometer so its particle size is very very small if you are dividing 1 meter into 100 crore meter so you can understand it's a very small size particle third is the solid particles do not show Tyndall effect first of all you should know what is Tyndall effect here I have written also it is a beam of light when it passes through a colloidal solution or it is in the dark place and when the path becomes visible that is Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect you may have heard I hope uh, in case in 9th standard only you may have not heard earlier what happens when in the tropical rainforest a drop of water falls down and through that when the sunlight passes so it becomes visible so that type of rays or beam of light is called Tyndall effect but let's start the solute particle of the true solution does not show Tyndall effect. Second is this was the homogeneous mixture part true solution second is heterogeneous solution heterogeneous mixture first part is colloidal solution what do you understand with colloidal solution colloidal solution is a heterogeneous it is homogeneous but actually it is heterogeneous it appears means it shows the property that it is in the uniform ratio of solute and solvent but it is not a homogeneous mixture it is heterogeneous mixture the size of the particle ranges from 1 to 1000 nanometer means here true solution particle size is 1 nanometer but if I talk about the colloidal solution its particle size is 1 to 1000 nanometer the solid particles show Tyndall effect all the heterogeneous specially heterogeneous uh, mixture shows Tyndall effect so here this was the first part of heterogeneous mixture colloidal solution Colloidal solution it is very small it ranges from 1 to 1000 nanometer it is a heterogeneous mixture the solid particle show Tyndall effect second part of heterogeneous mixture is suspension it is heterogeneous the particles are larger than 1000 nanometer in diameter these particles are larger than colloidal solution also and this suspension do not show Tyndall effect now what is Tyndall effect when a beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution placed in a dark place its path become visible when the beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution a solution just suppose that you are taking a solution in a transparent glass and when you are passing a beam of light as in the form of torch so if it is visible in that glass which atoms are present if it is visible that is called Tyndall let's go ahead now of the true solution part what are the parts of true solution true solution parts is diluted solution dilute solution dilute solution means uh, dilute solution means a solution in which 
Solvent is in the mole amount. What is the meaning of solvent? As for example, just suppose that I want to prepare a sugar solution, and sugar solution I have put very fixedly at 200 gram sugar and one liter of water, it becomes a sugar solution. Okay. But if I want to make that solution as a dilute solution, I will add two liter water more. Means adding more water, adding more solvent in comparison to the solute. So that type of solution is called dilute solution. You may have seen in the chemistry laboratory there are two types of acid: dilute acid and concentrated acid. The dilute acid, which we are doing the practicals, which are present on the table, that are diluted acid. But you will see the acids which are yellow in color and in which evaporation starts, means vapor starts coming. So that are concentrated acid. So here dilute solution means a solution in which there is more water or which is where there is more solvent is called dilute solution. Second is concentrated solution. What do you mean by concentrated solution? A solution having large amount of solute present in that means a solution, a solution in which the large amount of solute is present. So you may have seen concentrated H2SO4 sulfuric acid in which the vapor means smell fumes comes out. So because in that solution more amount of solute is present and less amount of solvent is present that's why it's called concentrated solution next one is saturated solution what is the meaning of saturated solution if more amount of solute is not dissolved in the solution it's called saturated means whatever the solution is prepared in that if we can't dissolve a single amount of solute is called saturated when saturated you can understand it is a homogeneous mixture in which we can't add more solute so that is called saturated solution and in which we can add more and more solute so that is called unsaturated solution the two types of solution saturated and unsaturated a solution in which no more solute can be added is called saturated solution and a solution in which more solute can be added is called unsaturated solution next one is concentration of the solution how you will measure the, what is the concentration of the solution the measuring amount of solute dissolved dissolve per liter in solution that how many solute means the measuring gas like the 100 gram solute is dissolved in 1 liter of solution or 200 gram is dissolved so this measuring device is called concentration of the solution it is of two types mass by percentage of solute or mass by percentage of solution means how you will understand mass by percentage of solution so mass by percentage of solution is equal to mass of solute by mass of solvent into 1000 and mass of solvent upon mass of solution into 1000 sorry not 1100 mass of solute upon mass of solvent mass of solute upon mass of solution into 100 and mass by volume percentage of solution is equal to mass by solute solution by volume of solution into 100 means what happened as for example, if we talk about the solute and uh, solvent, so solute plus solvent is equal to solution, right? So what is the mass of solution and what is the volume of solution? That we have to understand. In this concentration of solution, we have to calculate mass by mass percentage and mass by volume percentage. Two things we have to calculate. Mass by mass percentage is called, mass by mass percentage of the solution is equal to mass of solute by mass of solution into 100 and mass by volume percentage of solution is equal to mass of solution by volume of solution into 100 so this was our topic part 2 is matter pure around us in the next video i will teach you some separation of mixture and techniques method like filtration concentration these are the things i will teach you in the part 3 video in this video we have seen is matter around us pure types of mixture as a homogeneous and heterogeneous homogeneous mixture part True solution, dilute solution, concentrated solution, saturated, unsaturated, solubility and consistency. Yeah, what is solubility? The maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in 100 grams of solvent at a particular temperature. If we are dissolving 100 gram, the maximum amount, whatever the amount of solute can be dissolved in 100 gram of solvent at a fixed temperature is called solubility. So these were the parts of homogeneous and in the heterogeneous, I have told you, what is it is not the mixture of only solvent it is a mixture of all the types so that is heterogeneous mixture and it is of two types colloidal solution and suspension in the collagen solution the properties as i have explained you in the suspension also i have explained you Tyndall effect is a colloidal heterogeneous mixture so this was our chapter 2 part 2 video if you have understood the video please do comment if you have not understood the comment video not understood the video please drop your doubt in the comment box section don't forget to like and subscribe share this video with your friends thank you for watching